Well, now about time. Got a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see what we got. There'll be links down below for these things as well. If you see anything you see that you like the idea of, or maybe you want to find out more information. I have to use a real knife. What do we have? We have a crimper. Ratcheting crimper. It actually locks until you actually get all the way down. So make sure you crimp by the right amount. JSTXH connectors. So it's all the pins and individual connectors. If you need to make connectors up, then you can do that. Maybe if you damage a wire and you're working on something, you can actually you know, cut the wire off, put a new pin on it, put it back in, or even replace the whole connector. I didn't have any of these. Well, I've got some JST sockets with the pins in. I don't actually have any connectors. Uh, only on pre-made uh, ribbon cable sort of thing, so I didn't actually have anything like this where I could actually make some up if I needed to, so I thought I'd get some. And it's the same sort of thing with DuPont cables. So a whole bunch of DuPont type fittings. We've got single pin up to, what's that, eight there, maybe ten there is it? We've got some header pins, a whole bunch of metal pins in here. Cool. Again, same reason, I didn't have anything like this. And sometimes I've been wishing I could actually repair a cable or make up a cable, which is a multi-pin DuPont style like this. It would have been really handy, so I decided to finally buy some. I went through a bit of a phase there. Obviously this crimper here is meant for doing these DuPont things. So make sure you're using the correct crimping tool for the job. I've got the whole set together. Excellent. This is a DigiKey thing. What did they buy from DigiKey? I haven't bought anything for a while. Maybe it's an old order which has finally been back in stock. Uh, what are these? UA7805. Yeah, all the same parts. So these are 1.5 amp rated 5 volt regulators. I don't know why I bought them. I guess I bought them for something some time ago and I had them on my cart and they've finally got them in stock so they shipped them. Oh, that's okay. You can have enough of these things. You always use them. At least I always do. I do a lot of repairs and things like this tend to fail. According to the invoice, I ordered these in January. And it took six months. That may mean it's for the Retro Chip Tester Pro, which I built. That was around that time and all of that and got that board. So that's probably part of the inventory from doing that. Could be, I don't remember. But this thing here, which is making a lot of noise. Hmm. Oh, it's going to be one of those days. Right. A bunch of capacitors. I don't actually have many of this style. I've got some of this style, but not many. And we got. These capacitors, again, I've got some of these, not many. People like capacitor bag, don't they? <laughs> now I've got some of these ones. Oh, this one's broken. It's got some damage. Just over here. Hmm. Oh well, I guess this went through a hard time. I mean, it had plenty of packaging on this. Obviously, not good enough for the postal system, which tends to be a bit crap sometimes. Anyway, a bunch of trimmers. I use this thing from time to time. So, what values have we got in here? I don't know, was that 100 ohms upwards? Something like that. It's always good to have little assortments like this. I've already got some assortments a bit like this, but um, yeah, I thought I'd get some more. Yeah. I'll get carried away. Yeah. So here we have capacitors. Three axial capacitors. Well, these 25 volt, 25 microfarad. Probably again just a stock thing I ordered ages ago, and then I probably use up all their stock because that happens, and they've probably got some in stock again. And so I can send out the rest of the order. So plenty more things here to go through yet. Well, three more packages anyway. Stick around. These are going to be interesting. I still think they will be. Let's open this one up. Ah, right. So, this is the GQ 4x4 True USB Universal Programmer with an adapter board. I saw this on some of his channel. I think it was Tony's, Tony Orbis. 
I think it's on his channel. Hello Tony, I know he watches my videos. I saw that on there and I said thanks a lot, now I've got to buy another programmer. <laughs> so here we go. It's the latest model, USB driver 3 and software 7 or later version. Download the latest version from there. Basically, when it comes to programmers, you can almost never have enough of them. You'll find that some programmers will support some devices, but not others, and vice versa. And so getting a selection is always good. And I've got a few programmers. Actually, I've got a few I've never even used. I'm assuming they work and they've powered them up. And this will be another one of them. <laughs> but it's always good to have these tools available. Jump for settings for different EEPROM types and device types. Because this is an expansion board, you plug that into it. Anyway, thanks a lot, Tony. Seriously, thanks a lot. Ah, okay. Right. It's a MacBook Air 13 inch battery port tester. Cool. I didn't buy this. What this means is that Harold from CMIZapper.com, he sent me this. Because he sent me some bits and pieces in the past, and I've done some reviews on them. And I ordered something from him not too long ago. I bought a MacBook MagSafe tester, I purchased that from him. And he also remembered that, hey, you could probably send me some more bits, because it's been a little while. And he sent me this. So it's obviously for testing MacBook Air ports. So you can plug them in. There you go, for 2010 to 2017. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Harold. Instructions here, how to use it. Excellent. Have a read, thinks it's going to interest you. I don't currently have any MacBook Airs here. In time, I'm sure I'll get some, but I don't have any here right now, so I can't do any testing with that right now. But uh, at least when that does happen, I will have a tool to do the job. And sometimes half the battle is having the right tool. Just ask your wife. Last thing, we're finally there. Okay, it's been a big mailbag, this one. Whiteboard pens. Ah, right, okay. I know what this is. My challenge now is to get out the packaging. Don't go away yet. So, yes, it is just a whiteboard. I don't actually have any little whiteboards, that's why I decided to get one. I wasn't sure what size to get. This is an A3 size board. You can get different, lots, lots of different sizes. And I think it's kind of survived the post. It's almost straight. Pens with little erasers on the end. Hold on. There we go. Now we're perfectly set up. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd get this because it'd be good for like, doing these little videos and doing little drawings and stuff like that. I've met times I've done drawings with bits of paper and things. Having a bit of whiteboard would be better. Something this sort of size, I'm going to tuck it out of the way when I'm not using it. And it comes with these little stick on pens so you can actually stick them to the board so you can stand it up and they don't fall off. So you can store it that way. Nice. There's a playlist down here, things I think you should watch. There's a playlist there, YouTube thinks you should watch. There's a subscribe link over here, which is to click on to subscribe to my channel and see my future videos. Down there, there's a thanks button. Over here is a Patreon support link if you want to do monthly donations and contribute to the channel so I can buy more things in my bag and things to fix. Catch you later.